I guess what I'm trying to say, uh, just to finish up for my last video, is that experimenter bias and the lack of peer review are the only two major problems right now with the um, $1 million challenge, but more so the experimenter bias problem. Um, if this is not dealt with, um, I've heard some believers who've actually critiqued the $1 million challenge purely on these reasons, and I've actually con uh, been able to convince quite a few neutrals to over to uh, views of pseudoscience uh, based on these arguments. And unfortunately, they do have a legitimacy point. So, you know, that's, uh, I mean, a lot of people may have questions about, well, fortunately, this argument's a fairly minor, f fortunately, this flaw is not very public right now. But it, if James Randi is interested in truly testing for this stuff and to tight, uh, tighten his own protocols, um, you know, just to make sure, uh, just to make sure that he's not unduly uh, suppressing anything. I mean, I'm a skeptic, and I agree with you. It's probably unlikely, but just to be safe, you know, and taking care of all possible major variables, it might be an idea to um, deal with this as well. Just a thought from a fellow skeptic. Anyway, toodles.